hey, welcome to my vlog. I not only do this truck driving stuff, you know, I got a home life and do all kinds of other ventures. Stay tuned. Good morning, y'all. Oh, uh, shit, man. I don't even know where to start. <clears throat> well, one, I'm still way behind on videos. This is kind of like a downer Dave moment, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> okay. My sister and my mom, they're constantly arguing lately because... My sister moved back into the house, and there's a bunch of drama concerning that involving my sister's ex-boyfriend, now ex. I don't know if he is really her boyfriend in the first place or whatever. I don't know. Just kind of a dickweed anyway, in general, as a whole. <clears throat> so there's lots and lots of negativity in the house. Lots of fighting and bickering and just bullshit. You know, I can't handle it. And it really zaps my creativity and everything. And I'm facing my daily depression again because of all the negativity. You know, those two just need to knock it the fuck off. They need to grow up, put their big girl panties on, and take care of business instead of just being fucking assholes. <sighs> yeah, and also home life affects trucking life. Any drivers out there that's been out here a while, they know that. And any new drivers that's coming out, be prepared for that. Your home life will affect your work life because you'll be... 500 miles away, 1,000 miles, or whatever. And then you'll get a call or see some shit on social media, most likely Facebook, because everybody's mostly on there. Yeah, so that'll be going on in the back of your fucking head while you're trying to pull loads and, and stuff. You know, so... Because it it's hard enough out here. Because you have to remember all the laws, not only, you know, the government shit, and each state, it's all the same, but each state is a little bit different, so you have to remember each state's individual things, and all the company policy stuff, and you gotta keep track of the weather, construction, all kinds of shit, man. It's like never ending out here. You have to be like on your go all the time. But if you're thinking about what's going on back home, it fucks your shit up while you're out here. You know, so if you have a really fucked up home life, you know, it's best that you either don't be out here on the road or just turn your fucking phone off. Don't even answer calls or texts or get on your Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever the hell. Alright. Anyway, back in on the working end of things, I got called by some lady in Phoenix a couple hours ago now. Telling me I need to hurry up and get over there and pick up this cow can load. I'm doing another cow can. It's going same place out there, McCarran, and it's going to the Target warehouse up there in Albany, Oregon, somewhere between Eugene and Salem. You don't have the exact exit number, but it's on the five somewhere. <sighs> yeah, you know, because I'm leaving tomorrow, but the customer they want 
all their loads to ship out at least today. So then I guess they're going to be closed tomorrow. I don't know, dude. Things are kind of changing around. So. Huh. I don't know, dude. Just kind of bummed out from all the negativity. I'm already zapped for today, and it's only quarter after ten. So anyway, let me go get that fucking dog food load and come back here to the yard. I tell you what, man. I don't like working on my days off. Yeah, you know, this is kind of bullshit. Hey, you guys ever had to work on your fucking day off? I don't know. <laughs> this is it's kind of really under my skin because I got a lot of shit to do today. Besides this, gotta do some house cleaning. I gotta get all those videos put together and upload it on YouTube. I gotta piece this one together now. Oh, I just make more work for myself on this other extracurricular things, which I consider this vlog stuff to be is extracurricular. But, you know, I'm trying to make some money off the AdSense, you know, so. That's why you see the ads in my in, in my videos in the be beginning and the little pop-up things on the bottom and maybe over on the side. Yeah, so I'm just trying to make a little bit extra money doing vlogs and how-to videos and reviews. <laughs> reviews are coming up soon. I already got some written out on my Yelp and on my website cliffordfperry.com I gotta organize that a little bit better too I think my biggest problem is I get so far behind on shit that I get overwhelmed like these videos for example I still have like four or five of them to do so I don't know I think I'm gonna instead of having these be uploaded every day like maybe every other day or twice a week or something where it's like like a TV show or something yeah I think that'd be a lot easier for me to do so yeah so here we are keep on trucking out there to cow can excuse me Mars pet care <laughs> still stuck in my head Oh man, I've been here like 15 20 minutes and security can't find the paperwork any damn where. He looked through the whole entire folder three times. Every single little slot in the box. Not only for night, but Walmart, trucks, Snyder, Swift. Gordon, all the carriers. He went through every single thing looking for my numbers. And I had the right numbers. I gave it to him. And he called into the shipping office and they're being kind of dicks towards him. Saying, well, it was ready yesterday at 10 a.m. So, should be in there. Dar, 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 dar. And now he has a line of trucks. Walmart was behind me a night. And now a Snyder just pulled up. And this security guard, he's like kind of overwhelmed and shit. And he's working on his day off as well. Imagine that. Hmm. After he finishes that Gordon Bobtail, I'm gonna <clears throat> go over there and see what's up. Well, another super wonderful dispatching of night transportation. They dispatched not only me, but somebody else. And while I'm sitting here waiting on the guy to find paperwork, the other guy's already inside picking the fucker up. And drove out with the son of a bitch. And as usual, dispatchers are not answering their goddamn fucking phone. So I'm just going to slide my axles back and go, go home. Fuck them, I don't give a shit. Alright, so I'm going to come over here to the yard 
to the office because they're currently remodeling the whole damn thing. They got the shit all dug up and gutted out and everything. Over here by the Petro. And I'm going to see if I can get in there and strangle a dispatcher if they don't got themselves buried in there. Huh. Ooh, looks like the terminal manager's here. This should be interesting. Of course, I'm not going to film it because that would be extremely wrong. Stay tuned. Well, just talk to these people. They're being cool. The reason why they took me off of it, that's what they did. They fucking took me off the load and didn't tell me about it. Because they thought I was leaving Monday morning instead of Sunday morning, which is tomorrow. So, I guess I am leaving Monday now, picking up a, a load of luggage out there at USA Parkway. It's going to be a live load Monday morning, 8 a.m., going down to City of Industry for the Macy's Warehouse. Sooner I get there, sooner uh, they'll take me. So, that works for me. So, now, I'm going to get me... A couple chicken burritos over there at the uh, Del Taco. I'm hungry, dude. I haven't ate nothing yet. Bow wow. Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, it looks like the smoke from California finally blew over here in Marino. So now we gotta huff all this smoke. Wonderful. Sounds like a fucking campfire every day in my room. 